Hello, folks here. How are you? Well, today is Tuesday, the 5th of April, and it's a cloudy day. And, well, we have to say bye-bye April. Hello, May. Okay? Well, so uh, today we have Unit 4. Um, remember, I will be recording the, your classes in the morning. So I haven't seen the videos yet, yes, because you have time until... 7 in the afternoon, 7 p.m. for sending me your videos, yes? So be careful, organize your ideas, and send me the video. Yes, so we are not going to analyze the mistakes. Next class, we are going to analyze mistakes from the video, okay? Yeah? All right, good. Um, well, it's, today we are going to go to Unit 4, yes, pages uh, from the class book. 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49, yes, and then activity book, okay? Maybe you will see in the photo that I haven't uh, written class book there, but you already know that from pages 45 to 49 are class book, okay? And then I will take the photo then again, yes, okay? Because I, I'm not sure if I have written class book there, yes, okay? No, I didn't, yes, okay, so... Take, it, take this into account. And then the pages from the activity book 28, 29, 30, and 31. Okay? This could be the homework. Well, let's go to um, unit 4. Can you open your books? Yes, because the first time we are, go we are going to talk about what can you see in the picture. Yes? And you will tell me there are pages 45 with the date. You know the pages 45, 46. 47, 48, and 49, yes? I want you to put the dates very quickly, yes? All right. Well, uh, I want you to tell me, are you there? Did you put the dates? One, two, three, four, five, in the five, or the five pages, yes? I want you to tell me what can you see in this picture, yes? It's a group of boys. Yes, and girl. Yes, and what are they playing? What's the game? Yes, yes, they are shouting. Yes, they seem to be in a jeep. Yes, in a car. And, uh, well, they are shouting maybe at someone. Yes, okay. Screaming, shouting. Yes, okay. And they are hiding maybe. They are hiding. They are jumping there. Okay. Have you ever played like this? Yes. When you go uh, in the car and you shout at other people. Yes. Okay. And laugh. Yes. All right. Well, um, they seems to they seem to be happy. Yes. They seem to enjoy the game. Yes. There are a lot of uh, boys and girls there. Yes. Okay. And it says, children play in the back of an old jeepney, the popular traffic, the public transport vehicle, vehicle in the Philippines. Yes, okay. Well, uh, number two, did you, did you want to do any of these jobs? If we talk about jobs, can you read the jobs there and highlight the words there? Okay. Uh, film star. Pop star, police officer, yes, okay, scientist, taxi driver, pilot. I want you to highlight all the, the words there. And in exercise 3, 2, look at the words that, that can describe jobs. Are they positive or negative? Yes, so I want you to think about all the jobs, yes, and I want you to um, say, uh, put, for example, uh, adjectives there, positive or negative adjectives. For example, uh, let's um, footballer. Let's choose one. So we have positive adjectives and negative adjectives. I want you to do like this at home. Yes, think about that. We have badly paid. Boring, challenging, dangerous, dirty, enjoyable, exciting, responsible, stressful, stressful, and well paid. Of course, uh, a footballer is well paid. Yes, challenging. Well, challenging. Uh, what are the 
negative aspect. Is it stressful? Well, maybe if you get hurt, yes, if you have any pain in your knees or I don't know, any injury, yes, okay, could be. Um, is this dangerous? Being a footballer, yes, this is positive. Well, paid, challenging, football, what other negative? That you have to travel a lot, yeah. This is not a, an adjective, but travel a lot. Yes, could be when you have family, yes. It could be a disadvantage traveling a lot from one place to another. Um, is it boring? No, 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 no. Uh, what about being a nurse? What about being a nurse? I want you to talk about that, yes? To put negative and positive adjectives about these uh, jobs, okay? Uh, being a nurse, yes, okay. Is stressing, yes, okay. Uh, it can be uh, badly paid, yes, okay. Uh, stressful, yes. Challenging, yes, I agree with you. Okay, mm. what else? Dirty, yes, it, it is dirty, depending on the conditions you have to work, yes, okay, in which you have to work, okay? Well, so I want you to think about this, highlight all these adjectives, and now you're going to listen to three people talking about their childhood, their dream, what was the... Uh, what were their ambitions, yes? What did they want to do when they were children, yes? So I want you to think about now, yes? What do you want to be now, yes? Do you want to be uh, a vet? Do you want to be a teacher? Do you want to be a doctor? Yes, do you want to be a scientist? What, uh, what, do, what do you think about your future, yes? What are your ambitions, yes? What do you want to be, yes? And these people are talking, yes, about the jobs they wanted to be when they were a child. But then everything changed. Okay, so I want you to listen. It's very interesting. Track 27. Unit 4 opener. 1. When I was little, I wanted to be a superhero like in my comic books. I wanted to save the world. When I realized that superheroes aren't real people, I decided to be a fireman. It seemed like a very exciting job. Now, of course, I realize that it's dangerous, dirty, and extremely challenging. So I'm glad I decided to work in an office. I'm not really very brave to save the world. Okay, so the first part, when he was a child, he wanted to be a superhero, as in the comics, in his comics. But then everything changed because he realized that superheroes weren't real, okay? When I realized that superheroes aren't real people, I decided to be a fireman. It seemed like a very exciting job. Yes, a fireman. They are superheroes, firemen. Yes, but then he said that it was a dirty job. Yes, dangerous too. Now, of course, I realize that it's dangerous, dirty, and extremely challenging. Yes. So, I'm glad I decided to work in an office. I okay. know. What about working in an office? Yes, it, it, it must be boring. Yes? And stressing sometimes, because if you, if you know how to do the job, yes, other people can rely on you. Yes? Okay? Really very brave. Two. He was a brave. When I was a child, my ambition was to drive a train. My uncle was a train driver, and I wanted to be just like him. I liked the idea of being in charge of the train and being responsible for all the passengers. I'm actually an accountant. It's not a very exciting job. Okay, she wanted to be a train driver. Yes, but then she was a, she's an accountant. It's completely different completely different yes oh but it's not as boring as many people think it is well. three i was really into sports when i was a kid especially football 
My bedroom walls were covered in posters of my favourite footballers. I wanted to be just like them, the best footballer in the world. Footballers were well paid and famous. But I'm not likely to be a footballer now. Okay, we forgot about the other advantage and disadvantage to be fame, yes, okay? Uh, what do you think? Is fame an advantage or a disadvantage? I want you to think about that, yes? I'm training to be a nurse, which is not well paid and is quite stressful. But in the end, I think nursing will be enjoyable. I hope so. Okay, well, nursing, oh my God, you know now, yes, with, with everything that is happening with the COVID, yes, okay, nursing is very, it, it is a very, it has been a very important job, but it's most of the time badly paid, yes, and it's very dangerous in these conditions, okay, well, um, I want you to think about that, I want you to think about uh, all the, uh, the professions, for example, um, a film star, it can be exciting, it is uh, well paid, a firefighter can be dirty, exciting at the same time, challenging, yes, but dangerous, yes, okay. A pilot can be um, responsible, well paid, yes, a rock star can be exciting, well paid too, yes, depending if you are famous or not, of course. A uh, vet can be responsible, challenging, a train driver, badly paid, responsible, yes? Okay, think about uh, all the responsibilities you will have in your future job and then think about what you want to be. What did you want to be when you were a child, when you were younger than what you are now? Okay, have, have you changed? Yes, okay? Your thought? Well, this part is for talking, you know, you already know. Yes, can we go to uh, page 46? Yes, what do you think about this question? Will, this is very interesting. I like this unit at all, yes, okay? Will robot take your job? Yes, will robot, robots replace human? Yes, okay, I want you to think about that. Yes, I want you to think about this, yes, a robot at home uh, helping you, yes, okay, like uh, doing, like doing the housework, yes, correcting, for example, if I uh, program, yes, I prepare the, the robot, yes, for doing the corrections, I can't, yes, I will have more time for resting, yes, okay, and more time for having more free time for sharing with my family, for example. Yes, okay. So, um, did I tell you before, have I told you, when I was a child, I used to watch Jim and the Holograms. Yes, I have already told you about this. So I don't know if it was in another, on the other, on other courses, but Jim and the Holograms was very interesting for me because she was a, a a very nice girl, yes, if you Google, you can see, she used to have a pink hair and she was a, uh, she liked singing and she wanted to be a famous uh, pop star. So, so one day, uh, his father, her father, sorry, gave her a kind of earring, it was a, a star, and whenever she touches, she discovers that during the, the chapter, the episodes, yes, but whenever she touches the earring, yes, and a, a hologram, a hologram appeared, so she could be uh, in many places, yes, at the same time. So I want to be, <laughs> I want to be Jem and Jem and the holograms, yes, because now it could be very useful for me to have a hologram. So one hologram recording the for the fifth year class, and the other hologram the fourth year, and I could the real me could be there sharing with my family. I don't know. Yes, upstairs. Yes, okay, but um, I don't know. Yes, I'm maybe not because I want, I enjoy, I want to give the classes. I enjoy uh, giving classes. It's um, very challenging for me, yes, and entertaining, sharing moments with you because I know now it's a bit difficult because I, you are not here in the class, but I imagine that you are seeing the class, yes, continue with uh, the activities yes okay so but 
It's entertaining. But there was a hologram there. But now, uh, what would you do if you have a robot at home, yes? Could it help you to do the things there in the house? Yes, like the housework, uh, homework, helping with the homework you don't understand, for example. Do you think robot will, de will replace human? Do you think it could be the third uh, revolution as, regard, as regards um, working places, for example? Yes, so I want you to have a look at the pictures I have chosen for you. Yes, and I want you to talk at home and to write down all the ideas you have about uh, robotic engineering, yes? And I want you to see, uh, see everything there, okay? I have very good pictures, yes, okay? So we're going to talk about all of them, yes? Tell me when you are ready. All right, I like this one. Yes, yeah, so uh, what do you think? Will robots, uh, we haven't really talked about that before when I introduced the topic, but there is a robot, can, what can you see in the picture? I want you to describe the picture. Yes, and um, I want you to write down, yes, all the adjectives, yes, or ideas, yes, that come to your mind, yes, okay. Would, would be, what do you think it would be stressing to look for a job and when you go for the interview, uh, sit next to a robot, you know, he's looking for a job. Do you think it would be real in the future that you will share the same uh, space with a robot that is looking for a job? Yes, okay. Would it be stressing? Yes, would it be challenging? To be next to a robot looking for a job? Yes, so I want you to describe the picture which you, you can see there. There is a robot, there are, well, four people there. I think they might be uh, in, a, in an interview, in a job interview. Uh, one of them is with a laptop. Uh, the other woman is looking at the, the robot. She is wearing a, a yellow uh, dress and high heel shoes, stiletto shoes. Well, uh, the robot is in the middle, yes, okay, of two uh, women. The other woman is wearing a shirt, a skirt, a dark skirt, shoes, black shoes, and she's uh, holding a kind of folder, red folder. The robot is uh, uh, carrying um, a kind of folder too. It might be, yes, it's a folder. It's uh, white. He's wearing a tie, yes, okay. And the man here, yes, you remember on your right, on your left, yes, on my left, is wearing uh, a tie, a white t-shirt, a white shirt, dark trousers and dark uh, shoes, yes, okay? Do you think it would, it, would it would happen in the future? It will happen in the future, yes? Sharing uh, a meeting, sharing uh, an interview with a robot, it would be very interesting or not. What do you think? Uh, do you think you will uh, have more energy? Can you compete with a robot? Do you think you will compete, you will compete with a robot? I don't know, yeah? So think about the advantages and disadvantages of this picture, okay? Well, let's go to the second picture. Well, what about uh, robots doing sports? Yes, what about robots doing sports? Do you think uh, they will replace, the, they will be better than human? Yes, what do you think about that? So I want you to think about that. Are, are they real? Will they be like real? Yes, okay. So what do you know about robotic engineering? Yes, will they change the world? Yes, will be a real revolution? 
Will they have children? Will they have families? Yes. Uh, do you think they can? Suppose this man was a very, a very famous, a very famous sport person. Yes, and he dies. Yes, suppose he dies. And then do you think uh, this engineering, this kind of engineering could take his brain, remove his brain and introduce this brain to a robot brain and you could survive in a way of saying, yes, if we could say survive in the body of a robot, yes? What do you think about that? There is a film, uh, very, uh, very famous from the 90s, uh, that uh, is, uh, he's, he's a policeman, yes, and he dies, and then uh, they prepare a robot and he could survive, he could survive in the body of the robot. What is the name of, the, of this film? Yes? ¿No te acuerdas? El, el, el que ponen, el, he's a policeman, es un policía y lo ponen en el cuerpo de un robot. Yeah, Robocop. Robocop, yes, because I was thinking about him, but I was, I forgot about that film. It's his, it is a film from the 90s and it's very interesting. Do you think it would really happen? Yes, in the future? I want you to think about that. Ah, yes. Okay, it is happening because, because robots are replacing men. But do you find disadvantages? Yes, because now these robots can do a lot of work. Yes, can do a lot of work in less hours. So they can work more in less hours. In less hours. So it is an advantage. And what about men? What will happen with men? We we we. Uh, lose our jobs or they will really help us yes what do you think yes okay so I want you to think about that okay what was that doctors yes okay robot doctors yes okay could you go to a, a robot doctor? Could you trust him? What happens if he uh, if he wants to kill if he wants to kill you? Yes. What do you think? What do you think it, it would be uh, suitable? Yes. To have a, a doctor there. Yes. Will you go? Will you trust him? Yes. So I want you to think about that. Describe the picture. Yes. You can see a robot doctor there. Uh, there is a patient, yes, a patient, yes, and he's wearing a green t-shirt, yes, and yellow shorts, yes, okay. Uh, the robot seems to be very concentrated on his patient. So could you be the patient, his patient, patient, okay? All right, what about friendship, yes? Do you think robots will really feel? Yes? What about feelings? Think about his feelings. Will they have feelings? Yes? Okay. Uh, will be, uh, we will, uh, I want you to tell me, yes, if um, we will be able to love, to share feeling with um, robots. Will they have artificial intelligence? But, I don't know, do you believe in that? Yes, okay. What about sharing moments with the robots? Yes, okay. Uh, will friendship exist? Yes, will friendship exist in the future between a robot and a real human? Yes? Do you think uh, there, uh, there wouldn't be a lot of people in the world? So you will have to ask uh, uh, a friend, uh, a robot to be your friend, yes, with all these po problems of the pandemias and everything, yes, so I want, I think that you will have to be uh, a friend with a robot, yes, what do you think about that? Feelings, yes, 
okay? Sharing moments with the robots, with the one who helps you at home, yes, okay? So in the future, what do you think? Uh, people will continue uh, falling in love with other people or they will fall in love with a robot, yes? Because there is something there, there is a connection there. Look, <laughs> I was talking about that. Do you think it would be possible, yes, to share a moment to fall in love with a robot? Yes, maybe yes, because sometimes uh, emotions, human emotions are very difficult. In this case, you won't have problems, yes, because you could program uh, a robot and you could, I don't know, enjoy with him, yes, okay, or with her, yes, and program the robot as you want, yeah, okay, so do you think it would be nice, yes, to forget about uh, all the feelings that uh, we human have, yes, okay, positive and negative feelings, yeah, but I think it could be, it wouldn't be nice to program a machine, yes, to be the perfect robot, yes, the perfect couple, yes, you wouldn't discuss, Yes, you would agree all the time with the robot again, and the robot would say yes, yes, all the time. And I don't know, it wouldn't be funny, it couldn't be entertaining, yes, okay? So I want you to think about that. I want you to tell me then, because in the next video we will talk about this. What do you think uh, about robotic engineer? Do you think a uh, robot will replace us? What about the feelings? Yes, if we will share our feelings with robots, yeah? All right, well, there is another robot there, okay? More robots, okay? Robot, uh, keep robots, yes? Okay, suppose you have only one child, yes? And what do you think about this, yes? What do you think about this picture, yes? Okay, I will buy one because my daughter all, always plays alone in the house, so I want a perfect, I think the perfect couple the perfect friend, sorry, the couple, the perfect friend could be a robot. So the robots would play with your daughter or son, uh, will teach your daughter some things that you program, yes, for example, yes, okay. Um, think about all the positive things and think about the negative aspects, yes, okay. The robot can get crazy, maybe, yes, okay, I don't know what will happen. There is an episode in the Simpsons, yes, uh, they have the very, a very futuristic house and it's everything programmed, yes, it's the, the house, it's a house that is programmed with all the robotic engineering thing, yes, and a robot man is in charge of uh, shutting the windows, turning on the TV, yes, and it's very interesting because uh, then something negative happens in the house so i want you to look for that episode of the simpsons and think about that yes all the negative things first of all everything is very nice because marsh that is the woman in the house doesn't have to do the house work uh, things and uh, the um, tidy the house and doing the house uh, uh house house working thing yes okay and then everything changes because the machine I think fall, fell in love with March and then Homer is very angry and many strange things start to happen in the house yes okay well you know uh, men yes so what do you think about this picture yes what does it mean yes a robot will compete with you yes okay Will you be the same level as a robot? Yes, so I want you to think about that. Would it be fair? Oh, well, welcome to robot era. Yes, okay. You know, they will be there. Yes, you could buy one and, oh my God, it could be very similar from a woman. But in fact, it could be a robot. What about... um? Uh, isolation do you think is it nice do you think it is nice living in isolation so for those people who are depressed for those people who live in isolation alone
Do you think loneliness is nice? So, well, you can have your own robots and this will finish. Yeah, so do you think it would be uh, an advantage? Do you think it would be real? So I have, a, I have chosen many pictures, many nice pictures. I love them, yes. So uh, we can talk a lot about robotic engineer. Do you think it would be the next? You know, uh, we have the industrial revolution, but do you think it would be the next revolution in the world? I think yes. I really think yes. Okay, a robot ironing everything, a robot helping, a robot replacing uh, you in your job. Uh, there will be many disadvantages, so I want you to think about that. There are a lot of games about this topic, yes. Uh, my husband played a game I really like because it has uh, a story about robots replacing robots, helping. Yes, it was a revolution between men and robots. Yeah, but it was a very nice a game with uh, a nice story in the background, yes, okay? Well, so I want you to go to 46, 47, and 48, um, and 49, okay? Let's go very quickly. Uh, it was, this was the time uh, for you to think about uh, game, uh, robots, area, era. Not area, because area is another word, yes, okay, era. Yes, okay, so um, I want you to um, go to exercise one. I want you to do front page 46, exercise one, two, three, four, six, and seven, all right? Yes, I will dictate uh, the answers. Remember, you have to, um, that you have to. Pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? In Will a Robot Take Your Job? You have automatization, repetitive, yes, okay? I want you to highlight the words there. Yes, okay? Good. Uh, uh, uh. It's a very interesting... Uh, unit yes i like this unit because uh, it's a, like a science science fiction film but it is real you know uh years before um uh, i remember i saw films for example fi films about pandemias and everything and now it, it is real yes so i think it it seems to be uh, very, a very, like a very, like a, uh, a science fiction film, but it isn't, yes, it is real, yes, and there are many things that we don't know, yes, but it is there, yes, okay? Era, you know? Uh, Era. Well, you know, area. Area. Era. Yes, okay. No, um, I thought it was another pronunciation. Era. Era. Age. We can say age. Yes, okay. Uh, yes, okay. Robot age. Yes, okay. Well, um, I want you to go to exercise one. Are you there? Yes. You are. Okay, number one, the difference between uh, job and work. Yes, okay. How do we use job and work? Okay, number one, work. Number, are you there? Yes? Okay. Let's go to exercise two. Yes, work. What do you work? Two, job. Do you have an interesting job? Three, work. Do you usually take work home? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, uh, number four, work. Is your company good to work for? Yes, your company good to work for? Okay, five, well, um, what's your boss? She's off work. Yes, six, pardon, uh, five, work. Six, 
work, six work, seven jobs, yes, okay, there are a few jobs to finish here, yes, okay, good, uh, work, yes, is your brother around, no, he's at work, yeah, I have many jobs to do today, yes, okay, I will be at work until late, yes, okay, I will be at the office at work, yeah, Good. Um, era. Era. Well, it's only era. Yes. Okay. But then you can see age, la edad de los robots. Yes. Okay. Good. So um, I want you to do to do exercise three. Yes. They are at home. Yes. We can already talk about. Yes. So we can jump to uh, number four. Yes. Okay. Are you there? I want you to highlight the chart, electrician, engineering, nurse, yes, te telephone salesperson, teacher, taxi driver, highlight it, yes, and then I want you to do exercise six, okay, I will dictate, now you post the video, jobs in factories, yes, how likely 350 different professions are to lose their job to a robot, Three, work that is routine and involves handling small objects, jobs that involve helping other people or having original ideas. Yes, okay. Seven, are you there? Okay, there will certainly be more factories in the future where all the work is done by robots. I agree. Yes, uh, number two, 35% of UK, of UK jobs might go to robots in the next 20 years, uh, 35%. I think that it would be a lot more than 30, the 35%, yeah? Okay, as a disadvantage, yes, to uh, us, human. Yes, uh, engineer, engineers, engineers will be at risk of losing their jobs to robots. No, yes, I agree, yes, because they continue, they will be, um, Robotic engineering would be a, a job, yes, a career you have to choose, yes, because uh, robots will be, and who will be in charge of preparing, yes, these robots? Engineering, Engine engineers, yes, okay, engineers, engineers, yes, okay, I was thinking about robotic engineering, okay. Number four, uh, one global taxi company says uh, driverless taxis will be on every street corner eventually. However, a spoken person for London taxi drivers isn't convinced. It won't happen. Yes, driverless cars will never, will never be able to work on roads at the same time as normal vehicles. Yes, number eight, let's go to number eight. But first of all, I want you to highlight the predictions, yeah? Remember when we use, when we predict, we use will, may, might, yes, okay? Robots will, won't, will certainly, certainly, I want you to highlight the word certainly, certainly, definitely, yes, okay? Uh, won't, yes, do these jobs, yes? They may, yes, might, yes, we probably... Yes, whenever we are predicting about the future, you know, we already know. Yes, we use these words. Okay, I want you to go to exercise 10. Yes, exercise 10 directly. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, well, uh, first of all, uh, I want you to write, yes, write your own sentences, because I have this, own predictions, yes, about uh, what we have talked before. Yes, I want you to write predictions, yes. Robots will, robots might be at home, might help, help at home with the house, uh, work and everything, yes, okay, robots might or, may, might or may become your friends, 
Yes, okay? I want you to do that. Own sentences using certainty. Will robot certainly? I think robots will definitely be your friends, okay? So I want you to write your own sentences first, yes, in your uh, notebook, and then go to exercise 10, okay? Yes, okay, number one, will. Number two, will. Number three, may. Number four, might. Number five, will. Number six, won't. Yes, remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Eleven, yes, you have to cross out won't, cross out might, cross out mightn't. Uh, four, will. Five, won't, cross out. And six, cross out won't. Twelve, let's go there. You have to rewrite the predictions, write the predictions, okay? My English exam results will probably be good because I have worked hard or I have a really good teacher. <laughs> Number two, find it a job, probably won't, ojo donde ponemos el probably, eh? Probably won't be easy because there is a lot of unemployment in the country at the moment. I agree with this sentence. Okay, number three, people's salaries might go down in the next few years because the, econo the economy isn't strong. Four, unemployment, okay, unemployment, desempleo, acordate, will probably get better because a new factory has been opened in the town. Five, environmental problems may get worse because people continue to use fossil fuels. Yes, I agree. The amount, number six, the amount of free time we will have, we have, will certainly go up. So, uh, in this sentence, this, it is said that our free time, will, free time will go up, yes, because the government intends, yes, to cut the working week. I think, yes. I think they wouldn't be able to pay both robots and human so uh, we will work only three, three days in a week or two days in a week and we will have less money. And what would you do with your free time? Will you be able to work? Uh, to, will you be able to uh, pay for holidays? We will have a lot of disadvantages. I think there will be a lot of disadvantages when uh, robots start replacing humans. Yes, okay, so think about that, okay? And then we have the talking there, buy a motorbike, do a degree, get a cat, get married, look for a job, make new friends, move house, travel to a foreign country. Okay, good. How likely are you to do this following, following in the next two years? So in the next two years, will you buy a motorbike? Will you get a cat? Yes, uh, will you uh, make new friends? Will you move house? Will you travel a foreign country? I want you to use will or will definitely, will certainly, yes, okay? I will probably, remember, yes, I will probably, yes, okay? I may have a pet, a new pet, okay? Well, uh, 48 and 49, I want, to, you, I want you to describe the pictures there. Let's say picture A, B and C. Yes, okay, and I want you to do exercise one, two, three. From the other page, five, six, yes, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Highlight the grammar chart in excess in, on page 48. The prefix, yes, retake, redo. Uh, I want you to tell you something. I want you to redo exercise seven because it was a disaster, okay? Rehacer, releer, reescribir, rewrite, reread, yes? So this is a prefix, yes, for this uh, page. And then you have the future form. You use, remember, we use present continuous as future idea. We use will, yes? Okay, just a moment, yes? Okay, going to, yes? And present simple. So you have... Present continuous with future idea, will, going to, and present simple, yes, as future, okay? The train leaves in one hour, yes, okay? You remember this? So, these exercises are for doing this, okay? But first of all, let's go to uh, number 4B. 
Are you there? 4B? Yes. Okay, you are. Well, I want you to um, think about this picture. Uh, what is your path in education? Yes, look at the expressions and tell your partner what you have done or what you think you will do, yes? Will you apply for college, for university? What university will you apply for in the future? Uh, do you think you will get good results or poor results when you finish college, yes, school, secondary school? Um, will you take uh, international exams, yes, okay? Will you get a degree or what? Yes, so I want you to think about that. Yes, and if you didn't pass your examinations, your uh, final examinations, will you retake it? Yes, okay. Well, I want you to think about that. Talk about that. Describe picture A, picture B, and picture C at home. Yes, in the picture A, there is a woman. Yes, in the station, in the petrol station. Gas station, también se le puede decir. Yes, you can also say that. The second one, um, there is a, a woman uh, selling cheese. Yes, and in the third one, there are a lot of women getting their degree. Yes, um, well, what do you think about those pictures? What is my... Yeah, all right, so I want you to uh, describe the pictures at home and think about all the things, the, the, the sentences you can say. Yes, okay. Um, well, let's go there. I want you to go to uh, exercise two very quickly. Yes. Yes. And I want you to uh, have to answer these questions. Yes. Have you ever retake uh, an exam? Do you often rewrite your English homework? How many times have you reread your favorite book? I have done many times. Have done it many times. Do you know anyone who has retrained for a different job? Yes, okay, this is good, not good. Yes, okay, so I want you to go to the listening now. Yes, listening exercise uh, three. Have you made any, any important decisions recently? Yes, okay, yes or no? What have decision have you made? Yes, okay, I want you to Think about that, yes? If you have made any important decision this year or will you make any important decision? Yes, okay? Look at the women there in the photos and discuss where do you think they are from? Yes, and what do they do? Yes, okay? Um, you know, head, you call this head scarf. Yes, okay? And they are from, uh, they are Muslim. Yes, okay, they are Muslim, yes, from a Muslim, Muslim country. I don't know a specific what country, but uh, it's from the Muslim community. It might be from the Muslim community. Yeah, well, the other, we already say that she's in a petrol station, yes. Uh, B looks uh, an European, looks like uh, an European woman. She's selling cheese, yes. Perhaps it is in a market, yes, okay, um, perhaps she's German, yes, maybe. Uh, in C, well, uh, it's a group of Muslim women, uh, they seem to be uh, getting their degree. It, is, uh, it seems to be in a graduating uh, celebration, yes, okay, maybe at college or uh, from college or university, well, I want you to think about that. Let's go to exercise five. We are going to go to the listening. Yes, okay. There we are. Ready for the teacher now. Track 29, unit 4B. Read it first. One, Devi is from West Sumatra in Indonesia. I didn't stay on at school because generally girls don't hear. But then I got this job. I'm the first girl in my family to work outside the home. Since the economic crisis, more women have jobs. I feel very different about my future now. I'm going to change my job. I don't want to stay in this one forever. I want to train as a nurse 
So I've applied to college. I hope to get a place on the next course. It starts in January. I'm taking the entrance exam next month. I'm very nervous about it. I haven't told my boss. I suppose I'll tell him soon. Two. Elizabeth is from Bruges in Belgium. I work in a factory. It's a good job, but the company is making people redundant. So I'm going to take the redundancy package because it's an opportunity to start again. I got married very young and had a family, so I didn't finish my education. But I have just finished evening classes in business studies. And now I'm going to start my own business. It's something I already do as a hobby. I make and sell specialty cheeses. Just a moment. I'll get you some. Here you are. Taste this. Do you like it? Well, I'm meeting the bank manager on Wednesday to discuss my business plan. And hey! Maybe I'll take some cheese for him to taste as well. 3. Sahira is from Kabul in Afghanistan. It's very difficult to study at university level here. Many girls get no education at all. But we have managed to complete our degrees and graduate from the Department of Language and Literature. Now we are thinking about the next step. Many of the graduates are going to work as teachers. My friend is going to continue her studies in the United States. I'm going to stay here in the city because my family is here. I guess I'll take some time off and visit my parents. And I want to spend time with my friend because she's leaving next week. Yes, you know, it's very difficult for these women to finish uh, her studies and to continue university. They really make the effort for studying. So uh, I want you to uh, enjoy and to think about the opportunity you are having. Yes, uh, the, the doors that you have open for studying. Yes, and think about these women. They want to, but sometimes they can't. Yes, so think about the opportunity you are having. Yes, and enjoy your moment because study is very important. Yes, okay, number one, work works. Number two, a nurse. Number three, has a job. Number four, leave her job. She will take the money they give her and use this money for opening uh, a new business, okay? Uh, graduated from, a, from university and six, stay in Kabul. Yes, okay? Number six, you have to listen again and correct the... Uh, mistakes yes i will tell you debbie isn't going to stay in his job forever debbie is taking an exam next month elizabeth is going to start her own business elizabeth is meeting the bank manager on wednesday uh Sarah's friend is going to study in the university uh, of the united states in the united states Sarah's friend is leaving kabul next week so that's why she's um um, planning to uh, enjoy more time with her friends, okay? The week off. Uh, number seven, yes, uh, Debbie and Elizabeth have decided what to do. Sahira hasn't yet, okay? Uh, let's go to exercise 10. Yes, I want you to highlight the chart, yes? And stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to all the answers. Do exercises 10, 11, 12, okay? 10, 1D, 2B, pause the video, 3A and 4C, yes, okay, 11, I'm going to take 2, I'm starting, 3, I'm doing, 4, starts, 5, they are going to do, 6, we are meeting, and 7, I send, okay, I send it, okay, 12, I'm going to take, acordate, remember this, stop here, acordate, plan, spontaneous uh, uh, decision, intention or offer, yes, uh, a question about what someone's plans or intention is, 
Yes, um, arrangement. Yes, uh, then you have a spontaneous intention or an offer. Yes, okay. Number one, I'm going to take a plan. Two, I help. This is a decision. Okay, don't worry, I help you. Yes, or an offer. Yes, she's getting married, an arrangement. Yes, I'm getting married next. Getting married. Yes, next Monday, next July. Yes, plan or something you put in your diary. Yes, okay. Are you going to take it? A question about what someone's plan or intention is. I'm going to go. This could be an arrangement. Uh, I have arranged to go. Or a plan. I'm intending to. I intended. I intended. Uh, uh, I intend to go. A native speaker. I like to choose the present continuous. Yes, that is shorter. Yes, acordate si son native speaker or if you listen to a native speaker, they would choose the shortest. Yes, okay. The present continuous. Okay. Um, speakers tend to avoid saying I am going to go. Yes, I'm going home next week. Yes, okay. So. Be prepared because if you talk to a native, they, don't, they won't choose the going to version. They will choose the shortest. Okay? I will open. Yes, this is a spontaneous decision. Yes? Okay? Intention, sorry. Uh, well, uh, in exercise 13, yes, it's the last exercise of today's uh, class, of the class of today. Uh, you have draw a calendar. You have to do it at home. Yes, to talk. Yes, plans you have made. Trips, shopping, yes. Arrangement, for example, change your hair. Well, now we can't. It's a negative thing of the pandemic. We can't go to the hairdresser or quack, 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 quack. since you are still, um, things you are still unsure about, we can activities. And I want you to write there and to talk about these uh, plans at home, yes. Just for practicing uh, talking, yes. Because we were supposed to do this here in the class as a game, yes, okay, but do it at home, okay, well, the class has finished, I hope um, you have enjoyed the class, because I really like this topic about robotic engineering, robotic replacing, it seems to be a science fiction, replacing women, men, yes, I think uh, it seems to be a, a bit uh, science fiction, like a science fiction film, but it is real, it's becoming real, Yes, okay, activity with pages 28, 29, 30, and 31. Bye-bye, fourth year, see you next class.